find a wheel and it goes round, round, round as it skims along with the happy sound as it goes along the ground, ground, ground till it leads you to the one you love. Pennsylvania, one of America's first states, rich with historic importance in carving out a free nation. Pennsylvania, it has everything. From rolling green mountains, which open vistas of splendor and grandeur, to breathtaking and picturesque countryside, dotted by landmarks of history. To capture the mountains, to see the countryside, and to tour the landmarks, Pennsylvania is building an entire new multi-lane high-speed highway system. Its prime importance is bringing the nation's population closer, speeding goods to market, improving the economic conditions, saving lives. This is the Interstate Highway Network, 1,585 miles in Pennsylvania. It's a combined effort with the federal government and is a part of the 41,000 miles being built in every state in the Union. Cutting across Pennsylvania, connecting Ohio with New Jersey, New York with Maryland, Ohio with West Virginia, Delaware with New Jersey, touching every major city in the nation. From Harrisburg to Philadelphia, York to Scranton, from Pittsburgh to Erie, around Wilkes-Barre and Reading, Allentown and Bethlehem. And through Pennsylvania, Motorists will travel from New York to San Francisco without a traffic light. They'll go from Canada to Florida. They'll be on the safest highways ever built. To build these 1,585 miles, time was important. Planning, designing, and construction requires years of work, millions of dollars, many frustrations. The latest in highway engineering advancements are used in today's design work. Machines free engineers for more creative work. Time is saved. This is the most important commodity in planning and building roads. Highways today are built in a sophisticated manner to make sure the public gets its share for every dollar spent. A rigid scientific check is being made all the time. Laboratories to test materials and soils critically review their findings at the job site. This assures good construction. Millions of pounds of steel and concrete, two of Pennsylvania's basic products, have gone into the development of interstate highways. Some of these bridges are more than a mile long and 250 feet high. They will carry as many as 100,000 cars, buses, and trucks each day of the year. The bridges and the roads will bring people closer. From the majestic capital city of Harrisburg, penetrating through the Susquehanna Valley of central Pennsylvania, people are on the move. The commuter, the tourist, the businessman. All highways lead to and from the capital city. More than one million people live and work 
in the six counties surrounding Harrisburg. These new highways lead to the famous Pennsylvania Dutch country, where fertile agricultural land has been nurtured for centuries to attain its consistent high productivity. German farmers, along with the English, the Welsh, and the Scotch-Irish, were the early settlers. To reach the heart of this section of the state, Pennsylvania provides well-maintained and modern access roads. They are designed to blend aesthetically into the countryside. The famous Lincoln Highway crosses the southern tier of Pennsylvania. It nestles into the famous Appalachian Mountains, through Gettysburg and the surrounding countryside where history was made and America was united. State parks, recreational areas, tourist attractions, and forest and game lands bring thousands to South Central Pennsylvania. And they get there on good roads. They come on primary roads. They come on the interstate roads. And they come on the county to county roads. of liberty, Philadelphia, enriched with history. Now, like any urban area faced with a complex traffic problem, one of strangulation to get people in and out of the city and to get manufacturing products to the port for shipment abroad. New highways are being built rapidly to loosen the noose around Philadelphia and to stimulate the area's economic growth. This is the most rapidly developed area in all of Pennsylvania. Within a handful of counties making up greater Philadelphia, there are more than four million people, one third the entire state's population. George Pratt, executive director of the Greater Philadelphia Chamber of Commerce, has strong feelings about the growth of this area. He stresses the importance of interstate highways. Interstate system highways are the modern arteries of a community's lifeblood. Here in greater Philadelphia, the arteries are clogged. We have high blood pressure. That means more than six million daily auto trips. Our people live in a traffic jam. It costs them. In delays, it amounts to more than two million dollars each day, and that does not count their frustrations. In business and development, cost is responsibly estimated at more than one and a half billion dollars yearly. In lives, it runs about 200 a year, despite all our efforts. The interstate system will unclog the arteries and let us move more freely. As Pennsylvania's highway network grows, communities respond. Business leaders organize ribbon-cutting ceremonies. They know these new interstate roads will contribute much to the area's economic expansion. More industrial sites will be selected. Good highways generate plant expansion. One firm with 8,000 employees located its plant at the junction of the Pennsylvania Turnpike at Valley Forge, leading into Philadelphia, because of the integrated highway network in the area. And on Pennsylvania's older highways, where heavy traffic concentrates, safety has been greatly improved. Steel guardrails have been installed to divide opposite lane traffic. In 
contrast, the new highways are being built with wide median strips. In some areas, traffic will not see oncoming vehicles. In other areas, the highways will be on separate levels. At all times, they will be built into the countryside to blend with the topography. Interstate highways cost about $1 million a mile. In urban areas like Philadelphia and Pittsburgh, the cost will soar to $50 million a mile. A bridge across the Susquehanna River at Harrisburg will cost $12 million. Many of these miles are literally carved out of the mountains. Interstate 80, which passes through 15 counties connecting New Jersey and Ohio, passes through virgin areas. This entire 313-mile route already has opened up new economic opportunities for Pennsylvania. The communities nearby have benefited greatly. Businesses began building plants before the road was finished. Hazelton is at the crossroads of the east. In Pennsylvania, Interstates 80 and 81 cross near this once depressed city. But Hazelton has fought its way back. It has become an all-American city, accomplished by many efforts. One that must lead the way is the grit and determination of the people who wouldn't be counted out. Edgar Dessen is a general practitioner. He was and still is a leader in the resurgence that made Hazelton an all-American city. And good highways, he said, were a major contributor. What you see here has been made possible in large measure by new highways. Within several miles of this spot lies the intersection of two of the most important highways in the east, the Keystone Shortway and the Anthracite Expressway. Because of these highways, we have been able to attract new industry to this park and to this area, and we will continue to attract more industry. We have already been able to create over 4,000 new male jobs directly and many others indirectly because of this. It is because of these new jobs that we have changed our entire economy. This is what the state's investment in highways has meant to us. New wages, new jobs, and a brighter future for all. Some of Pennsylvania's most beautiful countryside is in the northeastern counties. The Scranton, Wilkes-Barre area for years was nationally known for hard coal production and textile machinery and goods. But at the same time, the Wyoming Valley possesses nature's kind gifts. It offers famous vacation resorts, natural lakes, a series of falls that cascade in a ravine of wild, natural beauty. Conveniently located along the interstate highways are roadside safety rests. They can be found every 25 miles. With America on the move, these rests will come in handy for the picnicker and for those interested in taking a short break away from the road. They have proven to be great aids to the safety of motorists. Winding through the Appalachians, staying close to the Susquehanna River, the river Indians called Laughing Waters. Fort Augusta played an important role in Pennsylvania history. Outside Sunbury, this military outpost was a strong defense position during the Revolutionary War.
addition to the roadside safety rests along the interstate highways, there are well-kept picnic areas on major highways. They have been built into the countryside. Thousands of picnic tables dot Pennsylvania to provide services to those traveling in the state. Recreational areas, as a rule, are close to the major picnic sites along Pennsylvania highways. These roadside safety rests were developed because of their relative closeness to other activities. Plans call for a roadside rest and safety area within 25 miles of every person in Pennsylvania. The oil well was developed in Pennsylvania to get to Titusville, where Colonel Edwin Drake made this discovery, motorists go north from Interstate 80 and tie in with major primary roads west of the famous National Allegheny Forest. Building Pennsylvania's interstate highways and bridging the rivers across the state required extraordinary efforts by engineers and contractors. Some of the work included stretching four lanes of concrete across a mile-wide river. To build just the foundations to carry the steel, workmen poured concrete for 60 continuous hours, a highway building feat. 10 million cubic yards of earth had to be pushed aside so four lanes of a highway could blend into the countryside. A mountain was literally moved. And miles were added to the interstate to prevent injury of natural recreational and fishing areas, as well as minimizing the road's effect on communities. Property and people were spared to serve the majority. Unfortunately, though, it was necessary to build the roads at some location while the public objected. Northwestern Pennsylvania offers a combination of industrial and recreational land. Its rolling hills and open fields lend themselves to potential development. Interstate highways in this area provide direct access from New York State, Ohio, West Virginia, and New Jersey. Motorists will see the state's largest natural lake. They can fish at another lake with a 70-mile shoreline. Erie newspaper editor Joe Mayer knows the importance of good highways. He is aware of what the interstate roads will do for northwestern Pennsylvania. I've been writing an editorial for tomorrow's paper about the impact of the interstate highway system on our historical heritage because Pennsylvania is rich in history, history of our founding fathers. But access to our historical shrines has been limited by lack of good roads. Today, this is being changed to the interstate highway system. Good roads now are available, opening our areas to all of our visitors and our guests and our citizens. On Lake Erie, Commodore Oliver Hazard Perry met and defeated the British fleet. His flagship, the Niagara, has been raised and reconstructed as a monument to those who fought so gallantly. Six of the nine vessels in Perry's fleet were built on the shores of the lake from trees felled nearby. Vacationists find enjoyment at Presque Isle and along the shores of Lake Erie. Erie is an important transportation center now that new highways have been built. It is a major port to the inland seas and handles a tremendous amount of tonnage annually. South to Pittsburgh, past Meadville, around Mercer and Grove City, bypassing Newcastle, paralleling the old Perry Highway crossing over the Pennsylvania Turnpike and into the steel city of Pittsburgh. Developing highways for this and all urban areas 
is a gargantuan job. The road must be situated in an area to hurt the fewest and serve the most. Industry needs good highways to get raw materials into the plants and products out and onto the road. With a multi-lane highway to Erie, motorists will shave more than an hour off the run. There will be no bottlenecks in communities, the stopping and going that costs money and lives. Highways will play a dominant role in the continuing economic development of Pittsburgh, according to Edward J. McGee, executive director of the Allegheny Conference. It is an astonishing fact, actually known to few Pittsburghers themselves, that far more steel is shipped out of this region for fabrication elsewhere than is used by local manufacturers. And every year, more and more of this steel is shipped by motor freight. The interstate highways now under construction and programmed for the future, together with the necessary supplemental road network, are absolutely essential to the survival of this city, let alone its future growth and prosperity. In Pittsburgh, where much history has been made, the Allegheny and Monongahela rivers form the Ohio at the Golden Triangle. The city stands at the gateway of one of the greatest drainage systems in the world. And through its port passes river tonnage exceeding the peacetime records of the Panama Canal. Often called the city of bridges, Pittsburgh has more than 150 spans crossing its rivers and ravines. The Westinghouse Concrete Bridge, the tallest in the state, arches over a famous industrial valley. After leaving Interstate 79 in Pittsburgh to go east to Harrisburg, you merge with Interstate 76 and connect to the world's famous Pennsylvania Turnpike. The first such highway in the nation, the Turnpike is said to be the forerunner of the interstate system. The superior engineering designs of 1940 have been improved upon with today's more modern highways. Two spans instead of one are built to carry four lanes of traffic. This type of bridge has reduced accidents and saved lives. Gentler curves with a clear sight distance are important to safety. Grades have been reduced on hills and mountains. Where the maximum grade of 3% exists, engineers have provided for a climbing lane for slower moving vehicles. Many of Pennsylvania's highways because of mountainous terrain, have been likened to the engineering feat railroaders were praised for in the building of the famous Horseshoe Curve near Altoona. Pennsylvania's wide open spaces, its rich countryside and transportation facilities have contributed greatly to a resurgence in the Commonwealth's growth and its economic stability. Manufacturing and industrial plants have recognized the need for rounded transportation. They must have good highways. Pennsylvania has built them. And because of this, everyone can take advantage of the recreational facilities nearby that have been built for traveling Americans. From the Mason-Dixon line on Interstate 81 through Franklin County, some of the most beautiful mountain landscapes forests and orchards in the entire state can be seen. Pennsylvania's only president, James Buchanan, was born in the county. The Blue Ridge Mountains lend themselves to the vacationist. 
But to the engineer and to the road builder, the mountains had to be met head on. They had to be drilled through, scaled, or bypassed. Rolling hills with fertile soil are a landmark in Pennsylvania, especially the counties around Harrisburg. Skillful farming has made a national reputation for Pennsylvania farmers. The land is scenically beautiful. It has many claims to fame. Winding roads through picturesque hills and valleys and over streams and rivers offer direct connections to the interstate highways. And on the way, there is so much to see and so many places to visit. Interstate highways are the heartbeat of Pennsylvania and America on the move. They provide an integrated highway network that connects with Pennsylvania's 43,000 miles of highways, the primary and urban roads, the county to county system, and the commuter links. 1,585 miles of interstate roads in Pennsylvania. They stimulate the pulse that continues to make this state an industrial giant, a land with tourist vistas, and a recreational state that offers much to so many. North and south, east and west. From the Delaware Water Gap, through the Poconos, and to Sharon, near the Ohio border. These interstate highways in Pennsylvania will bring nearly 200 million persons closer together. They will cut in half the time it takes to drive from Scranton to Harrisburg. They will save manufacturers many hours and money transporting their goods between Chicago and New York. Indeed, these highways in Pennsylvania make this great state a keystone of the nation, one which has taken its place in the annals of America's great heritage. In the night you see the over moon going round and round and going round and round and the ball of sun in the day makes a girl and boy want to say find the ring and put it round, round, round and with ties so strong your two hearts are bound put it on the one you found, 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 for you know that this is really love.